at them. Knights in shining armor. Smug, self-righteous, so confident their giant metal man is gonna save them every time. And what gave them the right to pilot that metal man? They didn't build Voltron, it was handed to them. That's the difference between them and me. Every piece of metal I wear, I earned. Every weapon I fire, I designed. So somebody decided they get to be the knights in shining armor? Well, there's a downside to that now, isn't there? Men of honor always have the same weakness. They just can't stand it when someone fights dishonorably. I expect they'll be showing up any time now. And we'll be ready. Pitch, we're gonna need a full structural analysis of the Alliance compound. All of Wade's defensive capabilities. And Hunk, make sure the Lions have the firepower to punch through all of it. Will do. No more training runs, cadets. This time we're hitting Wade where he lives, literally. When the sun comes up on Earth tomorrow, I want it to rise on a planet under the rightful control of the Galaxy Alliance. Oh, please. Don't pretend this is some noble revolution. This assault on Wade is personal, not political. You better believe it's personal. He tried to take you out. He's dangerous, Allura. You know we have to stop him sooner or later. I'm voting sooner. As much as I'm thrilled to see you two finally in agreement over something, this is not what we do. Voltron is the defender of the universe. We protect, we don't assault, and certainly not for revenge. And most certainly not for revenge on my behalf. I refuse to be a party to this. That's too bad, because the party's going on with or without you. Lance. Lance! I thought Wade was supposed to be some kind of military genius. I mean, what's with the stupid tactics? What are you talking about? He pretty much runs the galaxy. Couldn't he call up, like, the most massive army ever and just fling them all at the Council of Lions, totally crush us? Instead, he keeps trying to go head-to-head -head with Voltron. The guy's got a total giant robot obsession. Yes, he always has. For as long as I've known him, at least. Wait, you never told me you had a history with Wade. I took history with Wade. And quantum mathematics, tactical theory, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Everything the GA Flight Academy offered. The real dream, of course, was to attract the attention of the Voltron Force. It rarely happened, but we pushed ourselves to excel. Practically daring the Force not to notice us. When they finally did, there was no doubt we'd be invited to join them. But call it one of Voltron's many mysteries. The lions seem to sense who is worthy of piloting them. And Wade, to his undying fury, was not. Having been rejected by Voltron, Wade has spent his life building his own war machine, desperate to prove he was better than the defender of the universe. It is one of the sad truths of our existence that few things are more dangerous than true love given way to unchecked rage. Go on! If you're going to do this with or without me, then it's without me. Larmina and Daniel, you've got blue. Vince, hop a ride with Pitch. Keep it tight and keep your eyes open. Wade has to know we're coming. Disappointed if you didn't. Yeah. Shut him up, Pidge. I don't want to hear anything from Wade, but ow. He's on an open channel. I suggest you just ignore him because he's not going away. Yeah, sure he is. Now, who likes surprises? Because you better believe I've got some new ones for you. Keep smiling, you psychopath. It makes your teeth an easier target. Ready to form Voltron! Activate interlocks. Dinotherms connected. Infracells up. Mega thrusters are go. Let's go, Voltron Force! Both feet and 
legs. Form arms and body. or insane. Move! <laughs> A single charge of chloride metal dug from the heart of the planet Ariel. I hope you're surprised now. <laughs> When they tell you no, you can't have it, well, you just find a way to take it. I've always told the people Voltron was a menace. Time to show them what I was talking about. How is he doing that? Karan told us Voltron rejected him. Pidge, I really need you to say something scientific right now. I... Uh, I've got nothing. Vince! Whoa! Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Vince! So you know, I mean that in a good way. What did you see? Any ideas on how to stop Wade? <laughs> Me, I'd be more worried about how you're gonna stop them. to the distraction. He played us. He knew we'd come after him for Allura, and we walked right into it. So, uh, which one of us has to tell her she was right? We need her, Keith, and anybody she can round up. We'll be back. What? Flight Academy building? That's Wade Central. Larmina, back him up. <laughs> going and there goes half our strength tell me you don't do this stuff on purpose just to make it more exciting come on Amura. i feel like i've abandoned the father but if i support this mission won't i be abandoning the nature of voltron itself a difficult question but perhaps you're missing the more fundamental one what is the nature of Ultron? I... I've never questioned... to defend the universe. This 
is the mission of Voltron, and it always will be. But the spirit of Voltron is forever evolving, and it seems the Defender, as well as the Force, is entering yet another period of change. I hate the quiet. Bad things always happen in the quiet. I just really wanted to try that. There's a clear path that way. Come on, Daniel. We've got to get to that video game. What? What video game? We're good here. This is our old school, so we're on home turf. Go help the rest of the team. Okay, then. Yeah! Good to be back in the den. Come on. Log in. Still confused too. He's trying to hurt civilians. We gotta stop him now. Now that we've stated the obvious, anybody have an actual plan? Forget stopping him. We can't even get near him. He's got these lions fighting as an organized unit protecting him. Whatever we do, I don't think we have much time to do it. Look at him. So far, Wade's been held back by his own inexperience, but he seems to be gaining more control by the minute. We have to get him out of Ultron before he figures out how to tap into more of its potential. I think he just tapped something. And so the lions become the tamer. <laughs> They'll be coming. Hey, come on! The Force is alone out there! Just one more minute, I'm inside Pidge's system. Spy later. Fighting now! No! I'm trying to sort out the data I got from plugging into that Wade Voltron. I'm running counter comparisons with Pidge's Voltron schematics, trying to isolate any structural alterations to... Please don't explain. Just do it faster. You to look me right in the eye. Mostly so you forget to look up. One down. We're still. 
still lose in this fight, Keith. Wade's got us covered from every angle. Yeah! Sorry. Evil robots. You know how it is. Yep. Where are Daniel and Vince? I think they had to go play video games in the den. What? I believe I know what they were doing. That's one of Manset's ships. Manset? What's that smuggler smuggling here? I think Daniel and Vince just called in our backup. Callan. This battle belongs to the Lion Riders now, my friends. The fight with Voltron is yours. Yeah. Okay, so now we have to try to break our own robot? <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, the robot's probably gonna win. Vince! Uh, none of this makes sense. It had to be something in that Korite charge wage shot into Voltron, but... <gasps> built his own nervous system. Uh, Vince? The Korite! It grew an actual physical new skeleton inside Voltron, one way it can control. And if he put it in, we can take it out. Great, and how do we do that? Combine powers. Hey! At least I knocked this thing down a time or two. Frankly, I feel embarrassed just watching you. Coming through! Daniel? What are you doing? What did you guys do in there? Well, that was a different approach. Explanations later. That was kind of hard. Hi. I'll be taking you into custody now. Then I suppose I'll need to let somebody official know that the Galaxy Alliance is now restored. We'll help you write your resignation letter if you're not feeling up to it. Short version, we win. Impressive work. Same to you. What are you gonna do about that one? He is merely confused, twisted by the darkness he was raised in. Give him the open plains of Ariel and a pride to run with, and he will be a new lion. <laughs> okay, he's all yours. So, anybody know how to get a broken giant robot back to Eris? Hmm? I've got a few ideas. I'll even let you slide in on the friends and family discount. Business cards, Manset? Tell me the galaxy's best smuggler hasn't gone legit. <laughs> Anything, anywhere. I don't know if princesses get to do I told you so's, but... Eh. We do, but I'm not sure I get to take one. You left here to bring down Wade, and you did. The Galaxy Alliance is united once again. Yeah, but at what price? Did we do right by the big robot? Honestly, I'm not as sure as I was when you left. 
the defender of the universe that I grew up with may not be the one the universe needs today. Voltron, I'm told, is forever evolving. Well, he'll be up and running again soon, but there's something else right here. The Corite pierced something inside Voltron that we've never been able to crack before. Yeah, what is that? I've been seeing it in my vi- Well, I've been curious. The lions each have one in their chest. It's like a heart slash hard drive, I imagine. And they all come together when Voltron forms. Kind of like a Nexus. Huh. Yeah, a Nexus. That's exactly what it is. And now that there's a hole in the Black Lion's piece of the Nexus, it's releasing all kinds of strange data. Things I can't even begin to decipher. Whatever it is, access to this Nexus could change the entire way Voltron works. Is that a good thing? I guess we'll find out. <laughs>